Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley and our red cabbage is ready. It has been harvested here and I need to send one of these away and one of these. Oh god, I sent all of them. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And then we'll send one of these in here to be completed in that one bundle. And now we're waiting on a duck feather and a truffle, and we will have two of the things completed. So I'll be waiting to make a trip there until I have those. Um, we're going to hold on to these for just a little bit before I sell them. And then I'm going to need to go buy some more seeds. I'll probably go buy some more blueberries, although we're already to the ninth. So I'll go in there and see what it is. Maybe I'll grow some wheat. Uh, we'll play it by ear. Um, today, and in this episode, you're going to see us complete those two bundles by getting a duck feather and a truffle, hopefully. If that doesn't happen, then I'm going to be really surprised. Um, I'm going to be hanging around for that to happen. I'm going to be doing fishing and mining off-screen to make some money. And this rabbit will grow up, and then hopefully we'll see something good come from that as well. And what other surprises? I'm also going to be taking an off-screen trip to the mine, to the desert, the Calico Desert, to go visit the shop, to go buy some more beet seeds, and check in on things over there. And then, yeah, that's uh, that's all the stuff I've got planned coming up. So we'll see how that turns out. And I forgot, I visited the guy. I did this a day or two ago. I visited the dude down in the mines or in the sewer system. Um, I forget what his name was called. And he remember he sells mob drops and he sold some slime and I bought them from him. They were 10 each. So I spent 500 on 50 slime, which was the maximum amount that he sold. And I forgot he's got that star star drop down there. So when 20,000, um, when we get 20,000, that might be something for us to spend money on. But I got um, 50 from him and I bought them and I was like, I, this will make it easy. I need to get another one. I want to get this up and running. So that's going to be another thing that's going to happen. So we're going to place these in here. We placed 100 in here, and this will slowly turn it into a slime egg through the compression. So we'll let and see what that happens and see if we can hatch ourselves a second slime to get some breeding growing as well in this episode. Look what I see. That would be, ladies and gentlemen, a truffle. The pig finally found one outside, but it was in the grass. People said it would be in the dirt, but... Uh, this might be one of those things where it's like, give it a bigger area, or let it just roam free around your town. The only thing is, at least I know there'll be a truffle in here. I just might not know if there's going to be a truffle, like, where it could be so hidden in town. Like, out here, at least I know exactly where it's going to be. So, that is good to know. We have one bundle to complete. Now we're just waiting for... There are also fences. There are also just a pain in the butt to fix. Now we're just waiting for a duck feather. So hopefully we'll get lucky with another one soon. It's been like two weeks since we got our last one. So could see it at any minute. At any minute. And those are still another day or two away. Um, put that in there. We're going to put that to complete the bundle. If we get it, we'll get another one later. Now isn't one of these do truffle oil? Which one of these turns the truffle into oil? Oil maker. Okay, it's that thing right there. That will be making that, so we'll need to get that as well. Okay, alrighty. UFO, look at the UFO flying by. What the heck? What does that mean? Well, we've seen UFOs in Santa Claus. What next? I did go to Calico Desert. And it looks like I made my money back, at least for the train ticket, and then I bought a whole bunch. I bought, I think I bought 15 beet seeds, which should be enough for us to get us the 10 that we need. Because um, then I bought the, I have the other three, so we should be good on that regard. As soon as fall gets here, to get those delivered. And I would love to sell the rest of my red cabbage, but we'll do that later at the end. If we still have it and haven't used it for something else. But I'm a little apprehensive right now, because I don't need that much money, so... All right, well, I'm really looking to see if we get rain. Whoops. Oh, the Lua's tomorrow already. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll get this can upgraded sometime soon. Radish salad. Pretty sure we already have that. We do. 
Oh, we've got mail. I was just about to end the recording, but we've got mail. Hello, friend. The mountain lake has been kind to me lately. I'd like to share my good fortune with you. He made me a maki roll. Thank ya. What else do we got? Dear Mike, tomorrow... Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, we have to bring something good to contribute. It's gotta be something gold. Dang, I could do a fish. I could do a fish. Or I could not do a fish. We could do a gold red cabbage. I wonder how well that would go in a summer dish. Um, none of these things are gold. Yeah, because it was all about a low quality ingredient. So I'll bring that red cabbage. I will bring the red cabbage with me. Hey, got myself the octopus. And it looks like... So you guys know that metal piece that I had that said it would increase like the treasure pool in? Well, I put it on my rod, but it replaced the bait. So you see, it didn't replace the lure, the tackle, it replaced the bait. And then it only used, it only worked one time. And I reeled in seaweed with it. So that was super lame. Um, that was kind of a waste. Got an artifact and diamonds and more chest, which is nice, and some geodes. But I'm happy we got the octopus, which is, um, again, that's one of the summer ones, which means that the rest of this day I'm going to work on... Um, trying to get the Dorado, I did just want to show that this fishing, this plus three fishing, that is what is really increasing the size of the green bar. Without it, it's bigger than it was before, but I think that just like adds more to my fishing, which is something to take note of, um, that, that that increases the size of it. So, so eating the trout soup or whatever this thing is, the fish plate, uh, really helps. Hey, that was pretty quick, only a couple fish in. It was a tough one to catch, but that thick bar really makes a difference. So I've now caught, surprisingly, all of the four special uh, summer fish. So our fish collections really increased quickly. Um, I just need to put some crab pots out in the ocean, and uh, I think that's a crawfish. Oh, I don't know what that is, maybe that's a lobster. We just gotta put those crab pots out. So I might actually go grab them and head back down to the beach as I head over to the mining uh, the blacksmith real fast. But first, our slime egg is done. I forgot about this. And it looks like it's a red one. Oh, a red slime egg. Ooh, so we got a, the, these are the hard species. So we'll put this in the incubator and we'll come back and check on that in a few days. Let me water the trough. He has not produced any slime whatsoever. Um, so unfortunately he hasn't really done as much good, but hopefully we can get him to breed and get some more because I'm pretty sure that they said they breed together. So we'll keep, we'll check on that. That'll take a couple days for that to hatch. Huzzah! You've caught one of the legendary fish. That's what that means. The fish with the little crown on it is a legendary fish. And I just fished in here once. It might be the only thing you can catch in the sewers. But they said there's, what, five? We'll have to go read that book in the library again. But I do remember they're saying one, you catch it on the dock, all the way on the right. So I definitely saw a legendary fish, and I saw it twice, but I couldn't catch it either time. Um, but that's crazy. Yay! So, what happens? Nothing, it's just one of the collectibles. Let me just see if I would catch another one right away or if I actually just got pretty lucky. I caught that without my fishing boost, too. Oh no, I catch a lot of trash, I bet. Well, I'll have to go back to read that book and make sure I'm not missing any ones I need to get like all around the season. That one in the ocean might be seasonal or something, so I'll have to go back and I'll read that book at the library. Oh no, these cobble walls are deteriorating. It's been a long time since I put those up. Um, but yeah, wow, my pockets are a mess. I got another truffle, so it looks like we're going to start getting one a day. Maybe the pig just had to get to like a certain happiness level, which is very possible. Some of the other animals kind of were in the same boat when, that had, when it came to that case. So I got another one. I'm going to go ahead and send this one off the trade, and the next one will turn into truffle oil. 
and I'm just doing the daily task because I went straight to yeah to um down at the mines or down to the beach. My inventory is full. I have to come back in. It looks like we got our first rabbit wool too. The rabbit might be fully grown. So let me um let me go. Let's actually I just want to see what this rabbit is. So um <clears throat> put the seed in there. And then in this one, we're just going to put... Because I'm not going to probably fish right now. Okay. I think I can maybe pick everything up now. Well, I know the coal's going in here. And I know that's going in here. Let's try now. Eventually, if you just click them enough... Maybe not. I feel like I've, before, like, if I just, like, click them enough. There we go. Um, so, yeah, it's fully grown now. Okay, and it's just normal wool. It's the same. That's interesting. It's the, you know, you have chickens that get two different eggs, and then you have the rabbits and the sheep producing the same type of deal. So, okay. We'll have to, I think we get one a day. We'll have to see. Hey, level up on fishing. We can now make a cork bobber. And Treasure Hunter, both of which I have yet to see, so I'll have to check that out. Um, I imagine the cork makes it float at the top so it doesn't bounce at the top. It, like, the, the, you know, the other one makes you, like, it keeps it down at the bottom, and so it's always at the bottom unless you force it up. The cork would probably keep it at the top unless you force it down, which might just be a different style of fish and for different types of fish, um, which could be very interesting. Today is the Lua. Fish focus, super cucumber. You can find this rare fish in the ocean. It only comes out in the evening during summer and winter. Hmm. Something for us to, another rare fish for us to look at. All right. No mail today. Oh, and these are ready for harvest. Oh, today we might get our greenhouse, or tonight rather. Do we have a duck feather? No duck feather. All right, well, let's harvest these up on camera, just so we can see if we get any gold ones. Okay, well, we're getting something that's not normal. We just need two golds. 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 And we got seven. All right, well, let me do the daily tasks, and we're going to take a very fun trip um, over to the community center. And it looks like these, I need to put these in the ocean, not here. But first, the Lua, which I completely forgot about until it popped a little message up. I forgot we got good music. The governor's in town. We have a fancy red cabbage, which is probably going to make this really gross. You added a red cabbage to the soup. And I did. Okay, of course we've seen this before, so I'm just going to chat with people for friendship purposes. And then... We'll see the final cut and see if we actually did a good job this time, because last time we did not. All right, once again, last year it was okay, but he said someone did not put in a high-quality ingredient. So this time, I put in, at least I believe, what was considered a high-quality ingredient. Might not be a good ingredient, but it was high-quality. It was the gold star. So let's see if it's good. Exclamation point. Jump, shiver, oh my, that's the best soup I've ever tasted. Holy crap -o. He loves it. I did it this time. We did it this time. You're right, it's delicious. Wonderful job, everyone. Now, who else wants a taste? We want to taste. The governor wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. Time to head home. Well, what do I get? Do I get something for getting it perfect this time? I'm not sure if I do. <laughs> Alright, well off the bed, after I repair some cobblestone walls. So it's raining today, and it's going to be raining tomorrow. I'm going to be dropping off my watering can to get it upgraded to gold here off screen. And we'll be looking at it in a later episode to see what it actually um, does. I'm assuming it does the same as a hope. When we pick that up, I'll show the pickup. I'm not going to show the drop-off. 
And dang, this did a break away. I was trying to get seeds to plant it, but the Lua messed me up. Uh, because I couldn't go plant. Duck feather, duck feather, duck feather. No duck feather. Gosh darn it! Okay, guys. It is time to do some serious work here at the community center. We're going to start over here. Um, we're going to start with the chef's bundle. I have a truffle to drop off. And I have a fiddlehead fern to drop off. Bundle complete. I wonder if we'll get maybe some food. Some fine goods, possibly. And it is. It is three pink cake. Apple trees coming in the fall season. The pomegranates coming in the fall season. And rabbit foots coming somewhere down the road. Probably in the fall season. Red cabbage. We can mark this here. And then we're waiting for a duck feather, which will come sometime into the fall season. I should have just kept the one to put in here. So in the fall, we'll complete the bulletin board. And then it is now time to finish a new room. This is a long-awaited one. This one should have been done at the end of the l in winter. The quality crops bundle will be completed. We'll put in the five gold melons. Completes this, this thing here. Click the rewards, and the pantry is going to be completed, and we're going to get that greenhouse repaired on the farm. And we get a preserves jar. Not that we really need another one, but we'll go ahead and take it. Oh, it's two rooms. The kitchen room, I was right. Both rooms will get repaired. When we're done here, we'll return to the other world. Aww. Says something. Here they come with the gold star. Look at this. It looks so nice. Look at this room. Let's watch them put it up. We only have one left. That is hard to believe we've come this far in this game. One more left, and it's the bulletin board. Look how nice it looks. Oh, the kitchen. and the, Is this... Can I use this? No. But there's the kitchen. Just like my kitchen, my house. It's a little table for people to eat. A pantry full of plenty of room for everyone. Perfect. One left, and we need to wait for fall to complete it. Really, really looking forward to the end, to fall, to completing this. This is this has been my favorite part of this game. Has been these community bundles and the hunt to get all of the items. Definitely been my highlight. I can say that for certain. Um, I've really enjoyed it. Um, this game has really been amazing. I mean, the amount of hours I put into it, it's almost been trumping how many hours I put into Minecraft recently and Animal Crossing. It's kind of filled the gap for Animal Crossing for me this summer. I almost always pick up Animal Crossing into the start of the summer. And I started to with New Leaf, but it just didn't click because I was just... I put in so many hours in that game, and there's just something about it that just... I always kind of lose interest in it. I'm not sure what it is in New Leaf. I thought about picking up GameCube, but I just didn't want to make another GameCube town and play through the same thing again by myself. Plus, I didn't have a GameCube at my apartment. I'd have to bring one. Um... But then I had this game, and it has just been so much fun. Like, the amount of hours that you guys don't even see through the videos, especially now, is a lot. And into, um, you know, into this is so many more hours than we've had episodes. But I'm so, so happy we, we've got through, you know, 40 episodes or so now. I believe this is episode 41, and it's it's pretty awesome. Because um, it's catching up to Spazcraft quickly. Um, but, uh, I know there's uh, some other summer games. I might be picking up Animal Crossing anyway, because I want to play, I really want to play some Super Mario Sunshine. I've never beat that game before. I got really darn close. It was always a summer game we played at the beach, and we worked on it for a few years, but now they're all, we've all grown up, and Skim and I, we just don't hang out as much with all of our friends at the beach houses and the families together, so it's one of those things that would be nice to maybe go back and try now, so it might be something that I'll be playing. Not sure if it'll end up on YouTube, though. Um, I'm pretty content with the Minecraft series because I think I've got another mini Minecraft series coming up as well. So this Let's Play has just been awesome. Though This game is fantastic. Really looking forward to 1.1 and to our completion of this. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little talk. I kind of just wanted to hear the music and thought I could do a little talk about how much I've really enjoyed this game. And there's so much we haven't even touched. Like, we have not touched the relationships, the marriage. Having, we can have kids in this game. We haven't even touched that. Um, there's quest lines we still haven't finished yet. We don't know what the casino's about. I have written down about four or five weird things around town that we don't haven't accessed yet. And I'm going to have a video that talks about them 
and uh, sees where those go. They're like little hidden secrets that we haven't really gotten to yet to make sure we do those. And, um, you know, just all the fishing and the cooking that we need to do still, there's a lot to be done. And I hope you guys are looking forward to it and stick around to enjoy this Let's Play. And if you just kind of jumped in the middle, I highly recommend going back to the start to watch it. But I'm going to wrap up this episode. I'm sorry I'm going to have another cliffhanger. But I had a couple long episodes, and we're going to keep this one closer to on check. So next episode on Let's Play Stardew Valley, we will be seeing the completion of the greenhouse. And we will get to see it and it'll be ready to go and ready for use on the farm and i am very very excited so thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you guys later see ya hey guys thanks so much for watching if you'd like to check out some more minecraft why not check out my sky factory 2 let's play with zerthic and necker by clicking here in the top left if you'd like to see something else you can check out my idol on let's play that i'll be finishing this summer by clicking here in the top right you can follow me on twitter down below and then if you like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.